August is National Breastfeeding Awareness Month, bringing attention to a very personal and sometimes challenging process for mothers. Elena, a lactation specialist with Baylor Scott & White, is joining us today to provide some insight into some resources for breastfeeding mothers and our community. Thank you so much for being here today. Thank you for the invitation, Katie. We appreciate the opportunity. We wanted to start off first, why is education and preparation so important in this process? We hear all the time that breastfeeding is so natural, but when you're ready to do it for the first time for yourself, it doesn't feel that way. So um, that doesn't mean you're doing it wrong. Uh, it is um, the way humankind has survived, uh, but it uh, is very much a learned process. It's, there's a learning curve for mom, there's a learning curve for baby, and you really are learning together. So um, it's really important before baby gets here to um, kind of set yourself up for success. So um, based on your learning style, that might include taking a class virtually or in person. Um, Baylor Scott and White offers both of those opportunities. Um, there's also other um, community preparation and kind of ramp up, um, lining up resources in advance. If you have girlfriends that have done this before, those can be really, really valuable resources. Um, there's a local La Leche League um, mother to mother breastfeeding support group that is um, free and has both virtual and face to face meetings and ways to um, reach out directly that way too. Um, Scott and White specifically has um, those courses for preparing in advance. We have support while you're in patient with us. And then we also have the opportunity to do outpatient consultations afterwards. So moms can call with questions, we can help over the phone, and that um, is also how they can set an appointment to come in. Sometimes you just need a face-to-face, -face, I usually say a brain-to-brain -brain conversation too, um, to be able to give those things a try. So. It's all about support. You know, support Definitely. is a big piece of this. How can we help support mothers in these situations of learning how to breastfeed and that in process? Yeah, so um, normalizing that there's a learning curve is huge. Helping a mom know that it's okay if it doesn't come immediately naturally. Um, and breastfeeding a newborn is different than breastfeeding a two week old, which is different than a two month old, which is different than a two year old. So, um, and when moms have another baby, sometimes they kind of beat themselves up that they feel like they're starting over but it's okay that you're starting over this new baby hasn't had those learning opportunities yet and so you really do get to start over and it's been a long time since you nursed a newborn and hopefully you've slept at least a little bit since then <laughs> so um, it's okay that there's a learning curve and that starts fresh with each um, each new baby so you're not in it alone there's lots of resources available as members of the community the ways we can support each other um, if you know a, a nursing parent um, is that's their goal, um, letting them know that you support them. So hydrate them, offer them something to drink, bring them a snack, and just make it really clear that they are warmly welcome to meet the needs of their baby. We keep talking about how this is a journey. It's a learning experience. What advice do you have for parents who are embarking on this journey? Um, build your support team in advance and um, it's really important to know what normal looks like. Um, breastfeeding and pumping both should never be toe curling painful. It should not cause um, pain. It should not cause damage. So cracks, bleeding, blisters, or bruising is not part of normal. It's not supposed to break you. So definitely, if you're experiencing either of those, reach out to those resources. Some moms will say, it's not painful, it's just uncomfortable. And I usually like to explore that a little bit because they usually feel like that's normal. But um, it is normal for it to feel weird. You haven't used your body in quite this way before and the baby's not really asking, how's this working for you? So um, it is. it can be normal to feel weird, but if you find yourself looking at the clock with dread for the next time you have to do this, then we've officially stepped outside of normal and we can make something better. So reach out to those resources. Um, <clears throat> and that is kind of when to know that we're outside of normal and can do something to make it better. Right. Well, you have mentioned so many helpful different resources and advice for mothers as they embark on this journey. And we'll have more of that on our website at kbtx.com. Thank you so much for coming on the show and making time for us today. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it.